Hello everyone, Monklezonki here, and I'm going to tell you about and show you a guide of the latest love of my RuneScape life, which is sinkholes. Basically, you can do this distraction diversion two times a day. There is a guy that is just west of the Dungeoneering Teleport that teleports you straight to a sinkhole, and he'll also tell you when a sinkhole starts. Um, before we go any farther, I need to say that you have to be on world 134 to do this unless you have four friends to do it with you. But unless you are lucky like that, you need to be on world 134 because that's the official sinkholes world, so just make sure you're on that world before you start. I will say that this, this distraction diversion is incredibly worth doing because you get uh, quite a bit of dungeon XP if you get a lamp. I got the um, smallest lamp on this one and I still got um, over 60,000 Dungeoneering XP. Uh, you'll see that near the end of the video. Um, all the rewards are good. There's four lamps that you can possibly get and one reward of tokens. Of course, the reward of tokens isn't very useful if you're a high-level player in Dungeoneering like me. However, if you're a lower-level player, the Dungeoneering tokens can be fairly useful if you're going for your first Chaotic or your second Chaotic. Anyway, at level 110 Dungeoneering, which is the level that I am, I got um, 11,000 tokens from the token reward, and I have no idea what it would be for low-level Dungeoneers, but I imagine it's still pretty good amount of tokens if you are lower level, and uh, it would definitely help. The Zinkle only takes about 6 minutes to do if you are doing it correctly. Um, in this video that I'm showing, I did it twice once the team kind of messed up, but in this video, um, I believe we did the sinkhole in about six minutes or so. And so what you want to do is just go through and kill all the monsters really fast. In all of the rooms that you open up, there will be exploratory tokens, so if you or totems. So if you see one of the red totems, immediately pick it up. And the second thing you want to do on upon entering a room is um, to kill all the monsters within the room and pick up any combat totems that they drop and you'll get points for that and once all the rooms have been opened and all the monsters are dead then you can go around and gather resources there's really no point before that because the exploration totems and the uh, combat totems give more points than killing the monsters um, as you can see this is my first time that's why I'm picking the uh, the nettles but you want to wait to do that until all the combat totems and exploratory totems have been found because um, you get more points from them. So you want to ideally not be in fifth place because that kind of puts you in a bad position. Fifth place gets the small lamp and I believe fourth place gets dungeoneering tokens or maybe that's third place. Um, anyway, you'll see at the end of the video exactly how it goes. But um, yeah, you want to wait until all the tokens are found and then gather the nettles and it is a really easy um, distraction diversion I would recommend this to anyone um, if you really don't care that much about getting a lot of XP and you just want really really easy dungeoneering XP um, one thing that you can do is you can just um, stand at the starting point and not do anything and basically just AFK the entire sinkhole and at the end um, if you play your cards right you still will get a small lamp so if you are fairly high dungeoneering level, that can be upwards of 50 to 60,000 XP just for AFKing for a few minutes. So if that sounds good to you, um, just AFKing a few minutes, getting some dungeoneering XP, then just go on World 134 and go here twice a day, and you'll get XP for this. So um, this is now the reward room. Um, I really, really messed up during this video. Um, you'll see exactly what I did wrong. Uh, I did not know what I was doing, and I did not uh, read the cards correctly and what they did, which was a huge fail. But uh, anyway, I got a couple trading leeches cards, which um, trades your chest with the player that is behind you, uh, not the player that is in front of you, which I believed, but I did not read the... Um, explanation of the cards correctly so what happens is the guy in fifth place goes first and then second place third place um, second place first place so the cards you get them during the dungeon um, they're found in treasure chests and monsters drop them as well so um, they're under the combat totems when you kill a monster so um, you just go in turn and everyone uses a card um, I don't think this is the best idea I think it would be way better if just whatever place you were in uh, automatically gave you that reward but anyway um, I used the trading leech card so I traded my large lamp for a small lamp which wasn't the best idea in the world 
Um, but anyway, that's just how that played out. I wasn't sure what I was doing, and I just wanted to use a card for the sake of the video. But in the future, um, do not use a card unless you actually read what it does. Um, that certain card trades the chest with the player and the um, standing behind you. So anyway, um, I happen to get a small lamp this dungeon. Uh, I believe there is a card that gives you a medium lamp as well, um, as well as whatever your reward happens to be, and that's probably the best one. But I just rub this small dungeon lamp, and I get nearly 63,000 dungeonary XP for... Uh, pretty much only about 10 minutes work if you count everything, even if you, if you, get, if you count teleporting to Damonheim and um, starting the sinkhole and waiting for players to join in the lobby and then actually doing the sinkhole and then doing the little reward minigame. It's probably only about 10 minutes altogether, so it really barely takes any time. I would highly recommend doing this to anyone. It's basically like the big chinchampa of Dungeoneering, and it's actually quite fun. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching, and farewell.